Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel Digits ICT Solutions and today we are going to be doing an unboxing video of a HP ProLiant DL380G10. The spec of this I have down in front of me here is we've upgraded it to a 24 drive bay which will contain eight two terabyte 12G SAS drives. Um, it's got an Intel Xeon Bronze 3106 octa-core 1.7 GHz processor and 16 gig of RAM. This server is going to be used for DICOM storage and indexing as this is a veterinary practice and this will be used for CT scanner, x-ray storage and access and backup and also integrating with our practice management system. So we'll cut to the chase, get the knife and we'll have a look. This will be running Linux. Um, I found a pre-compiled version with, which is based on Ubuntu 14.4 which will be upgraded to 18.4 which has got all the DICOM services and MySQL. In here are the quick mounts for the, um, for the um, server rack and I'll give you a tour of the server room once everything is all up and running. We get our IEC lead so we can plug into our UPS. Polystyrene, get rid of it all. Do a Linus tech tips and drop it on the floor. So I'll try not to drop it on the floor. Let's have a look and see what we've got here. I have the drives already installed by my supplier. They'll be configured in RAID 6. Eight drives to start with. Um, and we'll see how we go with that. Here are eight, um, here are 12G SAS drives. They spin at 72K, 2.5 inch, hot swappable. And as I say, I'll be having it in RAID 6, will allow a fault tolerance of two drives. Let's have a look at the inside. So we've got our back plane and fans, our RAM, which we've got just 16 gig installed at the moment. We've just got a single socket installed, although it's got two sockets so we can add more. We've got our, our RAID controller cards, that's pretty much all you need to see on the inside. But now we'll have a look at our back I.O. We've got our integrated lights out um, Ethernet socket here so we can obviously manage the, um, you know, sort of the temperatures and everything else through the web-based console. And we can look at drive health and things like that, so it's more of a monitor port than anything else. We then have four Ethernet ports, VGA port, and we also have dual redundant hot swap power supplies. And these are 500 watt each. So we've got two UPSs in our server rack. So that will go into one, that will go into the other for failover. So if you have a UPS go out, everything can continue working. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please